what's up? Let's talk. Let's talk about the single most important thing that you can use uh, when you have a cardio system. The most important tool that you would need to install or diagnose that system for any problems that might be uh, wrong with it. And that tool is a multimeter. They come when they, you got DeWalt, you got Husky, you got Rigid, I mean, you got numerous name brands, but do not get them cheap ones that you see in Dollar General or Harbor Freight. <laughs> you need to get you a real serious multimeter. If you done spent four, five hundred dollars on an amp and two, three, four, five, six, eight hundred dollars on subs, sometimes just for one sub you might spend. Like the subs I'm running now, they two hundred some dollars a piece. And you got your head units, and you got your signal processors, and your and your crossovers. You can spend all that money to get your system installed or installed it yourself. Whether you spend all that money to get it installed or you install it yourself, you're going to need to learn how to use this tool right here. This right here. Why? Because car audio, you're just messing with electricity. That's all you're doing. You're messing with DC and AC current and amps and if you're using and you're working with that you need a tool that can help you decipher and diagnose and install they know exactly what you're working with what you exactly have in your system you can use a multimeter to decide and ascertain if you actually have 14 volts 13 or 12 volts getting to your amplifier when the vehicle is on you can also use a, 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 a multimeter to figure out what your resting voltage is on your battery when your vehicle's off early in the morning. You can use a multimeter, this device here, to figure out what your AC voltage is so you can set your amplifier. I'm going to do a single video just on that, hopefully over these holidays, to put that up to show you how you can use a multimeter to set your amp not to clip if you know that the amplifier does rated power. You can use a multimeter to find the AC voltage at the speaker terminals and how to set the AC voltage, how to set your gain to match the output of whatever head unit or source unit, unit you are using for a signal. Multimeter. You can use your multimeter to find out what wire <laughs> is hooked up to what speaker on your system. Especially when you're doing long runs, 18, 20 feet. You're like, man, which wire is it? They all look the same. You can use the continu continuity setting on here to find out which wire is which so you know what you're hooking up. You use a multimeter in case you're, let's say you're buying subs from somebody and they're used, but it's a good deal. You need to check the coils. You use a multimeter to find out what the ohm load is on the coil, each one. You use a multimeter to find out when it's series or parallel wire, whether it's a single sub, dual sub, triple, quadro. You use a multimeter to connect to the speaker terminals and find out what is the ohm load that enclosure is having at that terminal before you hook or after you hook your amplifier up. I say you buy some subs with somebody and you want to know, they say D4. You can use a multimeter to find out the ohm load. You can use a multimeter to find out if those subs are been have have been clipped or are damaged so much. Hey man, I don't want hey, you trying to sell me a sub that's defective. The multimeter will tell you that. Yes. You can use a multimeter to find out what your box rise is. If you get a good multimeter. You can, as your system is playing, you'll find out exactly what own loads you're rising to on average. Yeah, you can set this to give you a range as you play certain. It's not gonna. It's gonna when you play in a, a certain song. All songs rise differently, but let's say you want to know what your boss rise is with a certain tone. You can use a multimeter to do that. Play a thirty hertz tone. Put this into the speaker wire. Set the range, and as you play that, it whatever volume level you put on, it'll tell you exactly what your box rise is. Multimeter. Can you limit box rise? No. 
I mean, can you destroy it? No. You can compensate for it. You can adjust for it, but you cannot eliminate it. But either way it go, you need a multimeter to diagnose that. If you, and let me say this one more time. If you have a very, I don't care if it's entry level, intermediate level, or advanced level. If you're advanced and intermediate, mostly you know how to use a multimeter. But if you're in, if you're in the entry level, one piece of equipment you need to have in your system and ride around inside the car is a fully functional multimeter. Because if anything happens, this will tell you what the problem is. Multimeter. Get one. Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, Walmart. You're going to spend somewhere between 38 to 60 up to 120 up to 100 plus for a good multimeter. I think mine costs, uh, it's Ampro, no, I can't even remember. It's about 40, between 40 and 60 bucks or something like that. Uh, look at that. Look at that. You see that where it says true on this? Use a multimeter to tell exactly how much you can use a multimeter to find out exactly how much water is coming off your your amp to your speakers. Mm -hmm. and then with the box rise, you can if you calculate that, you know what your box rise is and what the AC voltage is, you can actually tell how much power is making into the subs. Because remember, no matter what your amp's rated at, you're not getting all that power to the subs because you got box rise. Find out what box rise is with a multimeter. So I'm going to do a video, dedicated video, just to show you how to set your amp. Because if you set your amp correctly with a multimeter, uh, you don't have to worry about clipping. You don't have to worry about destroying your equipment, the amp or the sub. When you're clipping, you can destroy your amp and your sub. Okay? I have never destroyed a subwoofer because I know how to set my amp with the multimeter. There's three ways of setting an amplifier. By ear, which is BS. Somebody tell you you're going to set your gains by ear. You need to run as far as you can away from them. There's no way you can tell that unless you're just going to barely. <laughs> There's no way, period. I don't trust it. The second way, most common way, is the multimeter. Setting AC voltage. And the best way, the only way, but the best, true way. It's a skilloscope, which costs a lot of money. We're talking about hundreds, over 500 <laughs> for a good skilloscope and higher. And if you pick that much money in your system, you probably don't want to, then you got to know how to use that skilloscope too. So the most prudent way and most affordable way to check your equipment is using a multimeter. Don't never set your games by ear. Anybody that tells you, hey, man, I got my game halfway, I got my game three-quarters away, and all that, this, that, and other, they, it, they run away from them. Run away from them. Because setting your game halfway, I got my game at 9 o'clock, I got my game at the, it, that's nowhere, that's not an accurate way of knowing that your amplifier is matched up to the output signal on your source unit. You can use this to set the game where it needs to be, Okay. If you know your amplifier does rated power, I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. But in closing, what's the one tool that every cardio guy must have? Multimeter. Multimeter. Invest in one. Read. Go on the internet and figure out how to use it. you save yourself a lot of money. And you'll teach yourself something in the process. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Peace.